Hi, it's Jill with Crick Flex. Um, I'm going to be doing a, some centerpieces that the theme is for a baby shower, and it is um, Princess of the Nile. Um, I'm going to be using this pyramid to do my wording that's going to go on my boxes that I'm using as a base. But I thought, I have somebody that has asked me a couple times regarding how to attach the letters and make them on a curve. I think that's what was, I hope that's what she was asking me. Uh, if it isn't and somebody's not familiar with it, I'm going to do it right now. First of all, I want to let you know that I am on the 4.0 version of Silhouette, the software I did upgrade. So if you have not upgraded, your screen might look differently than mine. Um, it took me a little bit to get used to it. However, I find that it runs a lot smoother than the old version. So I'm pretty happy with it so far, except for the fact that I can't split my screen with my... Um, my files so I can see my my workspace and the files that I'm looking for or my digital prints but I, I'm over it okay I'm gonna first of all I'm gonna grab and I'm gonna make an oval because I want my wording on a curve now it is if if you make it a circle it's a tighter curve I don't want it that tight I want it on a bear a barely on a curve so it's kind of eyeballing it so I got one there I'm gonna make another one I'm going to move it over here a little bit, and let me close this up. And I want them to be the same the same uh, measurement, the curve, on the same curve. That's what I meant to say. Okay, so i got another one here. And what I'm going to be writing out is Princess of the Nile. So the first word I'm going to do is Princess. Now I want to figure out what font I want to use. So I'm going to go over here to my fonts, and... Let me see. I don't want it real hard to read because it, it, sometimes when you get them really fancy, they, they're hard to read when you put them on your um, whatever it is that you're using them for. I'm going to color it black and I'm going to color the lines black so you can really see it. And again, I'm working on the new version and all of these icons look completely different. Now, let me close this. Oh, I shouldn't have colored it first, guys. You didn't need to color it first because it's going to remove the color when I do the next thing, the next move. At least it did on the old version. Okay, I've got Princess here. I'm going to click on it, double click on it, try and double click, and then see there's a green box around it and this little X here or cross or whatever. I'm going to take that and I'm going to drag it and drop it on top of this oval. There we go. Now, I'm going to move it by dragging that little box until I get it how I want it. And I'm going to release it. And let me make sure I got it just how I want it. You want to make sure that all your letters um, are easily read. Then I'm going to box those two in together. And I am going to go to Object, Make Compound Path. And this all becomes one. Now I'm going to go back to Object, and I'm going to go Release Compound. It didn't change the color. Ha, awesome. Now I'm going to go back over the princess, and I see that it filled in the P, the E, all of those. It should be lines it's filled in, so I'm going to make it a compound path again. But it stayed on a curve. Okay? Now I'm going to put this on my pyramid. I think I'm going to put it right about there. And then I'm going to do of the... And I am going to change this font to the Apple <coughs> Apple font. Come on. What day am I in the wrong one? Oh, over here. I'm not used to all this, guys, so apologize for that. Okay. And then I'm going to go over here and delete this bitter Twitter. Okay. And... And I am so glad that some of you found it so humorous with my story about the circus peanuts. Um, got a lot of miles out of that one, but a lot of miles out of my grandkids as well because they thought that was a hoot. My granddaughter, Kendall, she just kept saying, show me the film, show me the film. I'm like, no, Kendall, you don't need to see the film. Okay, Princess, I'm going to move that up a little bit. I'm not real sure how I want this on here. This is going to be going on the box, as I said. Now I'm going to type the word Nile, N-I-L-E, and I'm going to go in here. I'm going to change the font again to, I could have done it, no, I couldn't have done it all in one. You only can do one at a time. And since it did work coloring it, 
it's easier for me to see the color, so I'm going to color black. And this is what happens as you get older. You have to do whatever you have to do to make things really easy to see. Okay, now I've got the nylon there, and I'm going to double click it, and I'm going to take the box. And this one, I am going to attach from the inside. Now, I'm not real happy with the spacing between the I and the L. So let me see if I have the ability to do any spacing like I used to. Let me see. Right here, would this be? I don't know if I can. Um, don't, I've never done that. Object. Um, oh, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this and I'm going to make it a compound path. And that one did delete the color. That is weird. Then I'm going to release the compound and I'm going to delete the circle. Then what I'm going to do is I don't like with this L. I'm going to scoot this L over. This one I do not I did not do right because what I'm going to have to do is figure out um, how to change the spacing. I just upgraded the other day and I was not happy that, uh, at first I wasn't happy that I did it. I'm deleting that. I'm not happy with that at all. We're going to write that again. Nile, doggone it. Do it right. And letter N-I-L-E and, whoops. Now I'm going to go back to the font and this is the one I want. And I'm going to color it again. Whether that worked that time or not, I don't care. I'm doing it anyway. And, <clears throat> and this one I'm going to take and remove the color. And, whoops. And no color on that. I did it wrong. I want my line colored. There we go. Now, if I double click on this and move it down here, on the inside. I have got to figure out the spacing. I don't have a clue how to space it. Don't have a clue. Line spacing. Here's the line so or the letter size. Don't see anything about spacing and Lines, transparent, advanced options. Let me see yeah, if I get to the lines, thickness, in caps. No. Well, guys, that's just great. Because I can't figure out how to move them. So that's not going to be it. Let me see if there's anything in here. Line spacing. Let me see. Not line character. There. Character. There is where it was. However, now I'm still not liking the way that characters. Now oh, I found it, guys. I probably won't be able to find it again. But let me see. I'm going to make it a compound. And let's see if this. Yeah, it lost the color again this time. I have no idea why. The first time it worked. The second time it didn't. Oh, well. Uh, I'm not real concerned about it. Let me make that black and there we go. Get rid of this and it's still not right. Make compound path. There we go. And still not crazy about, well, it's not the spacing so much. I think that's just it's a small word so okay I'm gonna use this and we'll see when I get to that point if that's what I want to put on the box or not but I wanted to show you how to do the curve um, and now I'm going to go over to my workspace and show you the centerpieces so I will be back hi I'm back again now what I'm going to do is we showed you yesterday Jen and I when we were working on I think it was yesterday the Egyptian little baby girls that we had designed by Divine Digital Diva I've got some of them on the peg because they're gonna have a bag 
box as the base. And what I have done is up here, I shouldn't say I, we, Jen and I did these together. We've got the gems in the blue and the purple up here and glitter accents here. We've got the glossy um, accents in the eyes and gold all around in here. The only thing that we did different is on this little thing that she's holding in her hand. And please don't ask me what it's called because I have no idea. I use the Nouveau Drops and I'm loving them. Um, I'm just, they work so nice and they dry. Just, they're awesome. And they're so much easier than sticking a whole bunch of little gems. Um, I do it right on the paper. I, I showed you on the little card of the acetate where I had made some drops. I was just testing to see how they dried. I wanted to see what they looked like. However, I would not do it that way. And for the most part, I would not. I would do it right directly on my paper. So I've got her that's standing up and I've got the little one that's sitting down. Same thing, all the glitters, the glossy accents in the eyes. These have a combination of gem and glitter, gem glitter, and the hair, a little bit of glitter in it, and the diaper. We decided to not put anything on the diaper because it was too cute just as it was, and I would take away from the cuteness if I tried to add, add lace or anything to it. So we did not. They are glitzed up pretty good. Uh, I'm going to put the last one together here, and then we're going to put one together in a box. And these are all going in the 6x6x6 six 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 box that I get from Uline. I have covered all the boxes with um, glitter paper, and I picked brown. I don't know. It's not really brown. It's a golden. I, it's, it's a copper color, real dark copper color, but has a sheen to it. Um, and then I'm going to put gold on it. So we're going to see how that works, and I'm pretty optimistic. I did find out a couple things here. I'm going to be leaving for out of town tomorrow. I'm going to be gone till Monday, pretty much out of pocket. Um, I'm taking my mother home um, to stay with her. I shouldn't say home. This is her home, but I'm taking her back to her home downtown where she is going to be staying with her brother um, and his wife for the few days that we're going to be up in the northern woods um, spreading my brother's ashes. And it's, it's, it's just going to be way too much for her. So we made the decision that she is not going to be going. Um, the long drive in the car it, it is is one reason and she's having a hard enough time as it is losing her son and then to have to keep reliving it because he passed away in February um, a day I will never forget and she will not well she does <laughs> I don't mean it in a bad way but it's one of those times that you think eh, good thing she's got dementia um, because she's able to, I think she's able to, it's either because she's older and had so much death in her life that it's been easier for her to deal with. Um, however, it's been my, I'm 65 years old, guys, and I can honestly say that in my 65 years, this is the first time I've had to deal with a death of somebody that I was extremely close to. Um, you know, when you grow up and you move away and, and, you get married and you have kids and stuff. You know, some of your uh, distance, I don't know if it's the case for everybody, but for a lot of folks, you get so far away, you, you kind of become detached. And it's a sad thing, but that's that's the way it is. And um, I had moved away to Venezuela, but I was extremely, my husband and I were both extremely close to this brother. He was just, he was my best friend. So, Going up there this weekend is not a pleasure trip, um, and I don't really understand why my sister-in-law chose to do this. My nephew came in from um, Norway, and my 
well, I, I, all of my, I don't know who's all going, actually. I was going to say all of my siblings. I don't know who's going, but um, it's, it's, I don't know. It was my, they owned a cabin up there, and, and my, my nieces and nephew, my niece and nephew pretty much grew up vacationing there their entire life, and it was my brother's favorite place. He loved it, and they just chose that as the most appropriate place to have his, uh, his lashes, his lashes, his ashes lie. And, uh, and that very well could be the case. However, I am going to, I've not been up there since he's passed away, and I don't believe it's going to be very easy for anybody. My daughter is, um, was just, my kids were all extremely close to him, and my daughter can barely go up to an area that resembles what his cabin and the lake that he was on there, and he shouldn't hardly handle that. So I don't know how well she's going to do. It's been very, very hard on him. So, little prayers for my family, please. I probably ask that a lot, but it's been a rough, it's, you know, it's been a little rough. And my mother just can't put her through it. So I've decided to take her down to stay with her brother, her twin, one of her twins. She has identical twin brothers. Her identical twin sister passed away a few years ago. So that's what I mean. I think my mother's dealt with with losing loved ones. It was very hard for her when she lost her sister. Um, identical twins, from my understanding, have a very unique bond. So I think that she has, has I don't know, learned to deal and cope and whatever is its life. But I was just going to go to a happy note. <laughs> And I lost it. Oh, I gotta tell you something though. I don't know how many of you get your nails done. I do. I get my nails done half for years. And I have a shellac that I have done because I do a lot of lot of work. And it's the only thing that keeps my nails from breaking. So I get this shellac put on them. And lately, I always have a French manicure. Lately, a week after I have my manicure, my nails are turning black. And I'm like, what the heck? So I went in, I got them done, I, had, I said, I don't know what's going on here, but let's do a color on them so that they don't turn black. So I did a color on them, and yesterday I noticed they were all black and could not figure out, couldn't get it off with mineral um, spirits, with nail polish remover, nothing would remove it. And finally figured out where it was coming from. I got my new backpack, and they leather and they kind of aged the leather using a black like a black rub on it and the black tips on my nails were coming from my leather backpack and I'm so disappointed because I love that backpack I am not a purse kind of gal I like backpacks I carry a lot with me because I have my grandkids, I have my, I just always have a lot. And I don't like the purses. I think they're, I don't like them. But I had to get a purse because I got to figure out, or I have to go out and buy a brand new leather lap, um, backpack. Because I've decided that the price of getting my nails done, I cannot be doing that every week because they keep turning black. So, I'm going to have to figure out what if I'm going to solve that dilemma. I know all of you are thinking, what a problem. What a problem she's got with her nails. But, anyway. Anyway, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Um, been doing pretty good at my walking. However, I'm also done pretty good with my shin splints because I get too lazy to change my tennis shoes and walk in sandals. Bad bad idea. Don't do it. You know what I think I'm going to do in these boxes? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a different color. Guys, I'm going to pause this and I'm going to come right back because I have a different idea that I'm going to do. And I just saw it sitting right in front of me. I will be right back.
Okay, guys, I have kicked that my tripod around so much. I am probably filming the ceiling. Oh, maybe I could use some of these. I'm going to use do something totally different around here. Maybe I'll do one like that. And I don't have silver. I have blue. Let me see what do I do. And if anybody has experienced a problem with the iPad, their iPad, mini iPad, where you can't get on the internet, my password, nothing will work. I had to order my husband a new one. Can't figure it out. Um, I just can't get on the internet. And every time I ask for the password, I'm looking right at the machine. The AT&T people came out here. They're using the right password, and it will not connect. Keep saying wrong password, so we cannot get internet on it. Maybe somebody there has experienced the same issue and would have a suggestion on what to do other than throwing it out the window. I already have resorted to that. However, it didn't set well with my husband. So I decided that I would reach out and ask if anybody knew how to fix that problem. And I'm not expecting an answer because it probably can't be fixed. I'm going to use gold paper here. How many come in a pack? Four sheets. So I'm going to take two. I'm going to confiscate two, and I think I'm going to turn. Nope, I'm not going to turn that off because I know what I'm going to do. So let me see here. Which way it's sticking? Oh, I was telling you about finding out two of my nails. So what I did last night to get the black off is I have a thing, an electric little machine to remove calluses like on my feet. I used that to file my nails down so I could get all the black off of them. Pretty funny, but it worked. It worked, and I'm not going back in every two days to get them done. That's absurd. So, this stuff is thin, so I keep thinking I have more paint pieces than I do. And static electricity. There we go. There we go. I want the gold. The other way, so I'm going to flip this over. There we go. Then, I don't know if I've ever mentioned it, but the wood base that you're going to put it on inside the box um, can be a four by four. I mean, a four by four base or five by five. They don't have to be painted because they're not going to show. Um, when I give these to my husband to pack, he knows just to put on finished bases on them. Let me see. This isn't what I wanted to do first, guys. I did this completely out of whack. That's okay. Because what I wanted to do was put this on here first. This blue matches her outfit. So we're going to go with that. Guys, we are going to go with it. Because I want to. But, let me take her back, back out. And lay her down. And let me smash this down. Guys, you know, it's kind of like when you're creating. Things just come to you. But they leave me as fast as they come to me. So. So, 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 so. And there we go. Now, I'm going to go right across the top and stick this on it because these colors match perfect and they've got sequins on them and I personally like it. I gotta go get more of this stuff. I got it on sale at Hobby Lobby and I should have bought them all, bought it all. I don't know how often they have it in because I've used it on little Hawaiian and it's really neat stuff and it was really inexpensive. Somebody said to me they thought Hobby Lobby was expensive. I think it was actually my daughter. I don't know what on earth she was drinking, but Hobby Lobby has the best sales. Join fabric. I mean, well, they all compete with one another, so they always have good sales. And if it's not on sale this week, it will be next week. Okay, guys. And Hobby Lobby, Joanne Fabric, and Michaels all honor one another's coupons, which is is nice. However, they all have the coupons at the same time, so I think it, it's kind of moot if you're a coupon shopper. 
and there we go. Then I'm going to do one of a different trim. Okay, guys, I am going to tell you it's a little hard to keep this rapple, ruffle, rapple, ruffle out of out of the glue. I think that my camera may have just turned off. I just heard a click. And it didn't. But I just kicked my tripod. Uh, didn't I? Well, guys, it's only part of the course. Oh, and you can tell I'm really worked up about it. Let's see here. Let me see. Clip this off. And guys, when you clip these kinds of trims off, maybe uh, your best bet at the end is just to put a little dab, not much, just a little dab of hot glue at the end. I do anyway because it keeps it from, um, you know what I'm thinking, raveling. So we're going to try the blue one. Look at that shake. And I just got the blue on me. Try this again the right way. Let's see, those are cute. I like that. I do. I like that. Got a little shimmer and shine to it. And it pops the gold and the blue out of the centerpiece. I think I'm going to cut this down a little bit though. She's a little too tall for my liking. So if that happens, clip it off. And I'm going to clip it off and make sure I don't roll over that clipping. Okay, I'm going to try this again. Sometimes too, when the sticks get too tall, number one, I don't like the stick showing when I stuck my paper in. And another thing that I don't like is um, the they don't stand as well when the stick is too long. They don't stand as, as, as sturdy. They kind of wobble because they're just too long. I think I'm going to be going with that, and I think I'm liking that. And I think I might have some gold paper to put in here shredded. I'm going to check that, and if I do, I will add some, either gold or, yeah, gold, I guess it would be, have to be. But, this one aside, I will get these all put together with the different colors of the trim as she falls off. And then I'll get my pictures and get her uploaded. Thanks, everybody, and have a good night. Bye-bye.